welcome back to Say by the Sea. I'm Jenny and this is Amanda. Hi there. And we're going to talk to you today about some of the things we've made and some of the new fabrics we've got in the shop. So do you want to start by saying what you're wearing, Amanda? Yes. Uh, last time in our video, we obviously said that we uh, took a bit of a shine to the new Dashwood rounds that Jenny had in. And we both particularly liked this floral design. And it sewed up beautifully. And I've made the Willamette shirt by Hey June. And yes, I'm really, really pleased with it. It's a pattern that I've made a couple of times now. But I think it really shows off the print of the fabric really well. I really like it. It's and lovely, I love it. Thank you. And I've also made something in the same fabric. I'm not wearing it because we thought that might look a bit strange if we were both sitting here yeah. in the same <laughs> fabric. But I've made the sew over it penny dress and we're going to, um, and I really loved it. I, it's the first penny dress I've made and I think it's a great pattern. You've made a couple as well, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, I really like it. And uh, I think I'll definitely be making some more. It, it came together really well. It looks really great. I think it's a dress that you could just wear any occasion really. Yeah. You could wear it as a day dress, wear it for a wedding or you could make it in maybe not quite such bright fabric and you could wear it for work. So yeah, yeah it's really, really lovely make and I definitely think I'll be making more penny dresses. The only thing I think is you have to be careful when you wear it because you don't want a very windy day. Ah yes, <laughs> you could have a bit of a uh, Marilyn Monroe moment. Yes, definitely. Mm. I've yeah. had that a couple of times with yeah. my penny dresses, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the only thing to bear in mind. <laughs> so should we just show some of the fabrics, new fabrics that we've yes, got in now? Yes, lovely, lo lovely. I'm really liking some of these as well. Great. So the first one I've got to show you is this uh, viscose modal um, print which I'll just hold up for you here. It's um, sort of a duck egg colour would you describe it as? It doesn't show exactly, it looks more grey I think on the camera Yeah. but it's really a kind of a, would you say more bluey? Yeah, it's got definitely more of an aquary really pastel aqua yeah. colour isn't it, and minty. And it's got these tiny little, I'm going to come a bit closer hopefully you can see, it's got these tiny little figures on it with shadows, yeah, they're children lovely. and adults, it's really cute, really unusual print and it's beautiful, drapey, again that would make a nice um, shirt like the one you're wearing. Yeah, the Stevie. The, the Stevie um, would be brilliant in this. The I think that would be fantastic. Would be nice. Yeah. Um, anything. I mean, it's got a really, really lovely drape, so it would also make really lovely dresses as well, but it is quite um, thin, isn't it? So you might need to, you might need to line it. You might be okay. But yeah, I mean, that would make a really nice penny dress as well, to be honest. Yeah, it would. Although, know. it's obviously directional, so you might want to think about, because of oh, the skirt. Oh, because the skirt, thing, yeah. Yeah, I love this. I think it's a really nice, got a really nice print. Really lovely. So the next thing um, I'm going to show is some, again, Modal. These are Modal jerseys, so we've got two of these to show. Um, this is the first one. It's a navy background with on it, it's jaguars I'm going to say. Yeah, jaguars I would jaguars. say. Yeah. Um, and some sort of leaves and a sort of tropical jungle print. It's again quite drapey because it's a viscose, so it's quite a drapey jersey. Yeah. Um, but the model makes it really soft as yeah. well, doesn't it? It's really lovely. So that um, would be great for something like a Tilly and the Buttons Agnes or a Mayfair dress perhaps because yeah. you need a bit of drape for that one. Yeah that would be really um, nice. Um, you could also make the one that I've made recently, the um, AK pattern Susie dress. Oh it yes, would be really nice lovely. For that. Really nice for that because it's yeah. got a little bit of drape but it's obviously thick enough to cover any of your lumps of bumps. Yeah. And yeah. that's a really nice jersey dress pattern. I really yeah. like it. You've made a couple of versions of yeah. haven't you? It's yeah. really nice, yeah. I think they mm. look great. And the, an, another one, it's the same same fabric, but this one is a different print. This one is a cherry blossom print on a grey background. It's the same fabric, it's a modal jersey again. 
Um, so a nice bit of stretch, and it's also a little bit, of, uh, little bit drapey, which is nice. So the same, same sort of thing. It's, I, I love this print. This is my, this is my favourite one. Yeah, it's really like nice. The new ones you've got the cherry blossom. It's a Japanese theme. You see, I'm going yes. for. Having just come back from holiday in Japan, I think I'm um, drawn to the, drawn, drawn to the cherry blossom. Yeah, print. definitely. Really I think lovely. I'm going to definitely make something out of that. I haven't yeah. decided what yet. Yeah, really nice. That'd be lovely. And we've got a, a couple more wovens, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Yes. Okay, so we're just going to grab those. We'll be back in a second. So we've got two more wovens to show you now. These are both 100% cotton, but they're a really lightweight, um, drapey cotton. Really perfect for making summer dresses, blouses, something like that. Then they're both beautiful, vibrant colours. So this is the first one. It's a sort of jade print with red and yellow really lightweight as you can see and it's a little bit sheer so probably if you're making a dress you might want to think about lining it but great for blouses and yeah. tops i think um if you were making a dress generally i find when they're lightweight you don't really need to worry about lining the bodice but you would definitely need to line the skirt mm. because then you'll be able to see through it when you're walking but I think the bodice section's okay and the skirt is the easier bit to line yeah. anyway, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, they would be perfect for summer dresses and blouses. The drape is really lovely, isn't it? And the second one is this one here. Again, really bright, vibrant colours. This one's a blue with almost like a goldy uh, colour. Big flowers on it. It's got a quite a big print you can see there. And they're looking a bit red there but they're actually a bit pinky aren't they? Yeah, the yeah they are more, more of a pink I would say than red. But again really beautiful drapey and cotton so really nice for some holidays. Yeah I was just thinking that perfect for holiday makes, maxi dresses, oh, yes. lots of you know frilly dresses yeah, and stuff. Yeah Charlie Caftan maybe yes, would be really lovely. good wouldn't it? Really yeah, nice. That would be really nice. Yeah. So that's all we've got for today, isn't it? Yep. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a look through um, these fabrics and I think decide on some things we're going to make. We are, yeah. So hopefully next time we'll be able to show you some of the things we've made out of them. Yeah. Thanks for watching and um, hope you liked the video. And please do subscribe and like if you'd like to see some more videos from us. We're off out for brunch now yes. and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.